From Sydney, I head up the coast towards Coffs Harbour, a beautiful location where rainforest meets the sea. The great thing about travelling the East Coast is that you can pull in off the highway at any number of small towns and find your own little piece of paradise. Next stop, Byron Bay, a mecca for young backpackers. Byron was originally made popular by surfers in the 60s, then came the hippies, and now it's full of well-heeled baby boomers, who I suppose are really just the original surfers and hippies, with a bit more cash. Anyway, Byron still has an alternative vibe to it, and with its sheltered beach, really has been blessed with natural beauty. One of the things I enjoy doing in Byron Bay is going on a pub crawl. It has three pubs all within staggering distance. The Beach Hotel, up by the beach, the Great Northern, in the middle of town, and right next to the railway station, literally, the Railway Hotel. All right, the names don't show much imagination, but the great thing is, most nights of the week, you can catch a variety of top musicians entertaining the masses. Byron Bay is home to many creative people, from artists to filmmakers. So I decided to interview John Dolson, an artist who puts a different spin on beachcombing. People get profoundly influenced by being in this environment. And I know that that's happened for myself in my own artwork. I was painting pictures for something like 17 years, um, including for the first few years while I was in Byron Bay. But I, I just had a very major shift in uh, the materials that I work with when I uh, started to discover these plastics uh, along the beaches here and I've since turned that into an art form. I just get excited when I see some of these plastic pieces because I just find them really interesting and I see colours that I have never seen before and that's a really interesting thing to, to discover that what nature's doing to it, how it weathers and tarnishes the edges and bleaches and does different things like that. I've certainly seen colours that I've never seen before and that's coming from a painter of you know, 17 years experience working with a palette where you can make up any colour you like. This region, the Shire of Byron Bay, has as its population the largest amount of university graduate, um, standard graduates, um, outside of any major city in Australia. I feel that the reason why Byron Bay attracts so many people who are artistic and also intelligent to the area is um, just the location, the pure location, the nature here. It's a very high energy, it's re renowned as being in a high energy uh, field area in that it's uh, situated where uh, some of the magnetic um, ley lines are crossing under the earth. I go for a coffee in the morning and I can sit at a table with um, people that I know who are glass, glass blowers, who are um, other painters, who are writers, who are musicians and we've got one of Australia's richest men that sits and has uh, coffee with us um, every morning. This is the sort of cross section, we've got people who are sitting at the table, they're on the doll and there's an acceptance of all of this and I find that that's something very special about Byron Bay.